Hi guys, Ree here. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney, and a travel home from Disneyland Paris day vlog. In this vlog, we'll be taking you along with us as we check out of the B&B hotel, get our transfers back to Orly Airport, and then fly back to Bristol in the UK. I'm also gonna be answering a load of questions I've had sent in on Instagram, all about the trip, Disney, upcoming plans, all that kind of thing, so stay tuned for all of that. So we've been staying in the B&B hotel, want to share my thoughts on it. It is clean and tidy. I think of like a premier inn back in the UK, everything kind of works. It's basic, so there aren't loads and loads of sockets, there's no fridge, there's no safe, but if you just need somewhere to kind of lay your head like we have been, then it will do the job. There's a few odd things, like there's a bit of an incident where my family went downstairs and I was gonna meet them, we were gonna leave, so they had their park bags with them, and they were kind of told off a bit. Now there were signs saying you weren't allowed to take bags into breakfast, but the way it was handled wasn't terribly well, so the um, the service has been abrupt, probably is the best way to put it. But the hotel itself is basically clean and tidy, so if that's all you want, then it could be a good option. It is on the bus route, the buses going in aren't too bad. The buses coming home to any of the Disney partner hotels, pretty much any time after the parades, are so, so crowded. The biggest problem with the buses to the partner hotels, I would say, is just the total lack of queuing. It, there's no concept of who arrives in front of who, it's just everyone kind of elbows out, pushing and shoving, everyone just fighting to get on the buses. So if you don't fancy that, perhaps staying on site in a Disney hotel you can walk to, or in fact, there are buses to some of the Disney hotels and we watched those go back and forth and they were pretty much empty. So there wouldn't have been nearly as much pushing and shoving on those because there were just lots more space. So if this is gonna be your only trip to Disneyland Paris, then maybe have a look at staying on site. That way you get the tickets included as well. But for us, we've got annual passes. We made the decision to do a few cheaper hotels and come a few times during the year for the annual passes rather than staying on site and spending that extra money on just the one or maybe two trips. The breakfast in the B&B is just a basic continental breakfast but it does the job. So all in all, this hotel I would say is better than the Adagio, which had a nice lobby, but the accommodation was in need of tidying up. I did actually have an electric shock from one of the outlets there. The Adagio was much more spacious than this, but not as kind of neat and tidy, and there was no breakfast included at all. Then there's this one, and then probably the one up from that that we stayed in was the Explorers, but then it was a little bit more money, and then the most expensive one we stayed in was the Dream Castle, but it was the nicest. So I'm afraid the information I can give you is the more you pay, the nicer the experience is, which, you know, what a shocker. No massive surprises there. Anyway, I now need to cram all of the stuff into our cases, zip them all up, We've got airport transfers picking us up in two hours. And then when we get to the airport and we're waiting around for our flight, we shall answer some of your questions. I'm just about packed. Just gonna give you the world's quickest room tour along with my thoughts. We've got a top bunk and a bottom bunk. We had William up here, Bella down here, and then Zara over on this bed. I don't know how she managed it. She almost fell out of bed a number of times and did fall out once. She never does that at home. I don't know why she was doing it here, but she was. So there is a little light here and a socket. So there was a facility to plug things in to charge. Got a nice full length mirror. And then over here, I was using this as like my, my desk, my laptop and stuff. I've got bags packed ready to go. Another mirror up here. Got all our cases ready. This one's coming all in carry-on and the rest are being checked in. And then these are the bags that are gonna be carried on as well. We've got some hanging space up here and my husband's coat and some space underneath as well. No plug sockets this side of the bed, but there is a plug socket that side. The bed was comfortable enough. It only came with one pillow for each side, so I did go and ask for extra pillows. And then in here, check I haven't left anything behind. I've just got a basic sink. I've put the both bins in here just to kind of clear the stuff. Bit nice big mirror. The shower had a space you could put it here or up high. That's fine, and it did come with like shower gel soap stuff and another squeezy bottle here for hand soap. 
and then I use this shelf up here for toiletries. So perfectly clean, tidy and adequate. So not a massive room for five of us, but we were literally just sleeping here. I booked this whole trip through EasyJet, so obviously I didn't need um, park tickets because we already had annual passes. I think it cost me something like £325 each for the flights, so that's return flights and the accommodation for seven nights, which I actually thought was amazing. Um, we've traveled during Welsh half term, but I don't think it's half term for all of England. So maybe that's why the price was a bit better. But I thought for, for what we got, that was quite good value. So as soon as my lot will get back up from breakfast, we're gonna take all these cases down. I have also got a bag here. Of just, I've just chucked all the coats in there. And I've also got a bag of food, which they can just snack on in the airport transfer, whatever else, before we go through customs. I am totally losing my voice now. We've had an amazing trip. But I'm just so tired. I'm definitely tired. Traveling home day is always the, um, the least fun bit, isn't it? The children don't get quite so emotional on travel home day. They tend to get emotional leaving the parks the last time. They tend to just be tired and want to go home on travel home day, so. Fingers crossed, it all goes super smoothly. Last time our flight was delayed and we didn't fly out back home till 9 p.m. We didn't get home till early hours of the morning. Everyone was on their knees. So with, I think we're being picked up from here at 10 and our flight is at one-ish. So just keeping everything crossed, we can get home in a reasonable time. I can chuck on a load of washing and then go to bed. Do you know what? While I'm waiting for my family, I'm gonna answer some of the questions sent in on Instagram. So the first one from Katie L. Mayo. Do you have any issues getting the additional park days? This is putting me off the annual pass still. Okay, so I understand this is a since COVID thing. Pre-COVID, I believe, me if I'm wrong, you used to have an annual pass and then just go to the parks when you wanted to on the days you were allowed for your pass. So I think I've got an infinity pass, I could go any day of the year. Um, the rest of my family have got one that's blocked out for 15 days of the year. So pre COVID, we would have all been able to go any day of the year bar those 15. Since COVID, you've got to reserve a park day and you can only reserve up to three at a time. So let me just get this right now. We flew out on Saturday, so we already had Saturday, Sunday, Monday reserved. As soon as we scanned in on Saturday, I had to reserve Tuesday, scanned in on Sunday, reserve Wednesday, if you follow. Now, two other days, let me see, let me get this right. Wednesday and Thursday, we were on the waiting list and I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare if we can't get park tickets because we had dining reservations. Now, as it happens, this has happened a number of times where we've not been able to get tickets and then we've been on the waiting list and it's gone through. So, touch wood, I've never yet not being able to get into the parks on the days we wanted to get in, even though we've had some iffy moments with wait lists and things. So it's not ideal, because you've, you've paid to fly out here, you want to go to the park, there's no guarantee, so it's not perfect. I am planning to do um, like an in-depth video on the pros and cons of the annual passes, my recommendations for them and things, and let me know if that is a video you'd like to see. Right, do you think you'll renew or get the annual pass again? Um, yes, probably, but not yet. Rather than just renewing it on the day it expires, I think we will buy new annual passes on our first day back in the parks. So I think our passes are due to expire on something like the 31st of May, so we wouldn't be able to go in the parks on the 1st of June. But unless we're physically planning a trip for the 1st of June, it feels like a waste to renew the pass on the 1st of June. We're going to go sail on the Disney Dream in August. So I would imagine we probably won't come June, July because we're like, save the money for that. And then say we want to come next year, we'll just buy new annual passes on the first day of that trip. So we're not wasting, otherwise we'd be wasting June, July, August, whatever, the passes are expiring and us not using them. So that seems a bit silly. So yeah, I definitely think we will get them again in the future, but not straight away. Do you recommend paying for a photo pass? And I know I saw another question on there saying, um, the one in Florida is good, do I recommend this one? So similar questions. I love the photo pass. Um, I've actually got one with my annual pass. The infinity pass has loads of perks of it. One of those being the, the photo pass. It's lovely. The on-ride photos are great, but the photos, especially with Mickey, are just so lovely. They've really captured, you know, beautiful shots. And also I can be in them because obviously I take loads of photo, loads of video, but I'm not in as many of the pictures with the children, not the nice ones anyway, because I'm normally behind the camera. So the photo pass for us has been really lovely. I've been really glad that we've had it. Uh, what were the children's favourite rides and characters? P.S. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you very much. Um, that's Emily Gallagher, 0602. I'll ask the children when we get to the airport. Favourite things purchased? Again, I'll ask that for the children when we get to the airport. Are you going to go to Tokyo Disneyland? I'd love to. I think the absolute goal is to visit every park and sail on every ship. That's the dream. It'd be amazing just to experience the differences. Can you use a priority pass at the Princess Pavilion? How does it work? Yes. So the Princess Pavilion and Mickey Mouse are like 
attractions as opposed to characters, even though the characters, this set up like attractions. I did explain all this in my priority pass video, but basically in short, with a priority pass, you show up at like the priority pass entrance as opposed to the standby line and you just wait in a shorter line so you wait in a shorter line for mickey you waited in a shorter line for the princess pavilion so the same way you would with like big thunder or anything whereas with the other characters the ones that you kind of meet out and about under umbrellas you show up you ask for a comeback time and then if they've got any of those available they'll be like here's your comeback time come back at 12 15 or whatever and then you go and do your own thing in the park until that time now the princess pavilion is one that's like take some acts take something to do i sat on the floor with the children I probably waited for 20 minutes which is like the longest I can pro I managed to persuade to to get them to sit through that one 20 minute wait and it was it was tricky I will admit it was challenging but they were writing the plan they were eating snacks if all the rides were like that Disney wouldn't be doable for us but the princess pavilion they did really want to meet the princesses that's one of the ones that is a much longer line even with a priority pass so just bear that in mind any tips on managing little ones with ASD in the parks um again the priority pass is an absolute must so check out that video where I explain it all in detail Ear defenders, if your children are sensitive to loud noises. I find that uh, my children who have autism, actually loud noises are the, one of the few autism things that don't bother them, so they're not too bad. I, I just put it down to the house being so noisy all the time, they're just used to it. But ear defenders, if your children are sensitive to that, lots of snacks, lots of things to do. And preparing them, I think the biggest thing with my children is they enjoy things more if they are more prepared. The way that I feel that my children's autism works, presents itself, whatever, is I feel like they take in too much. It's like they're trying to take in every tiny detail, you know, like every tiny minuscule detail of what they see. And if they're familiar with something, because they've already seen it in vlogs or on websites or whatever, they don't have to take in everything from scratch. They can just take in the smaller details. I think they find that a little less overwhelming. So for me, like, I could never do the surprise, we're getting in the car now and going to Disney thing. They would enjoy it far more when they plan and prepare and plan and prepare. So just show children vlogs of what it's going to be like so they know what to expect. They can take some ownership over what they want to do. I have lots of vlogs if you want to watch vlogs. So hopefully those will be helpful. And it's been so nice actually bumping into so many people in the parks this time and for people to say how helpful the vlogs have been. That has really meant so much. So if you've been one of those kind people that come up and said that, then it really does mean the world. Thank you. Uh, what popcorn buckets do they have to choose from at the moment? There was a Mickey and a Minnie, although I think one of them was a popcorn bucket and one of them was candy floss. So we've got, I think, the Minnie Mouse Bow popcorn bucket, which is in the case somewhere. Also just the very basic popcorn buckets that's just like a lid and some decor. But the the Minnie Mouse popcorn bucket is like the prettier version with the, the, the string and the strap and stuff. But not loads, not like figment level popcorn buckets like in Florida. Oh, did you so happen to catch The Incredibles in Walt Disney Studios and was it on the app? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head if it was on the app, um, but you can check the app, the Disneyland Paris app is fantastic. We saw The Incredibles and like New Queen were out loads. They were just kind of doing like a really short cavalcade. They just appear and just like cross the park. Cast members stopping to, you know, clear the way or whatever. But yeah, Lightning McQueen and the Incredibles were out quite a lot. We saw them a number of times. All right, last one, I'm gonna have to go and find my family and get ready to go. What transfer service do you use? Um, we use Prestige Transfer, they've been brilliant. They've picked us up door to door and we found because we were family, well, I originally quoted it for when we were traveling with six, my eldest was with us, but it was significantly cheaper to use direct transfers than to use the bus or the train and pay per person. And quite frankly, the stress levels are pretty minimal when you've been picked up you know we've got a lot of stuff and if we were trying to do like the RER or the coach or whatever all this stuff and the children especially when they're tired and overwhelmed from traveling that would be really hard work maybe if you've got a really small family if it's just like two or three of you it's going to be cheaper to do the bus or the train I know a friend of mine came with her two children and her and her husband so there were four of them and it was about the same price so kind of a no-brainer to do the private transfers then for places some familiar faces i think i just need a little light i've been trying to fake it i have said i can take it but i think you should let me go 
Cause I need some time. time. So we've made it to the airport. We headed up to the bag drop, and uh, apparently the bag drop doesn't open until 11:40, which is two hours before the flight. So we have come to Starbucks to just get a lot of snacks and to eat. The children will play on their switches, and I'm just going to attempt to stay awake. I think that's. That's it really, that's as much as I can get for. We've checked in our baggage, we've asked for special assistance for children with autism, but well, I booked that before we flew to, from Bristol to France. But then we just went to the special assistance desk where we were sent and she said we need to go to the other one in three, even though it says one on the board. We're supposed to be going to 3D or something, I don't know. It's possible I'm so tired, so I'm just not quite getting it. Did not get much sleep last night. It's been a very magical but very long, tiring week. It'd be nice when we got through security, we can get on the plane. Chill for an hour. I didn't really want to leave Disney, but now we've left. I'm kind of ready to be home. Just for me, yeah, I need some time. So we're just sitting here in the special assistance area. We have managed to get that checked in. It seemed there was a bit of confusion, but then they did find us on the system, so that's all good. So, questions that have been sent in. Favourite moment of the holiday? I don't Can you do a do memory. You know? I always buy toys places because because they're memories of my trip. Toys are memories, are they? Okay, fair enough. Okay, Bella, favourite moment? I don't know, it's a bit hard. Okay, William? I, I like when Mickey gave us a hug in Plaza. That was lovely, that was really lovely. Actually, yeah. Okay, favourite uh, meal of this trip? Dining and Plaza. Yeah, I've got to say Plaza is my favourite. Downtown was very good too, but Plaza beat it. Yeah, Guys? I think Plaza. Yeah. Well, Agrabah, uh, yeah. Happy Agrabah was really good. Though. Happy Agrabah. Okay. Yes, Happy Agrabah did make it to my top five. It did. It did make it to William's top five. Um, it just, I'm okay. Just favourite character meet of the trip? Genie and Aladdin. Genie and Aladdin, they were very good and ones. Minnie. And, and Minnie. And Minnie, yeah. So favourite character meet? No, favourite character meet at all of the trip? I think Minnie. Minnie, William? And Mickey. Minnie and Mickey and... I like Tigger. I like Tigger. I actually like Blue, um, he thought he was fun, and it was really nice that Rafiki and Timon like, were together. I thought that Minnie, was cool. Minnie, Mickey... Um, um, favourite ride of the trip? Genie, Aladdin and Minnie. Favourite ride of the trip? Anyone? Favourite ride of the trip? Big Thunder Mountain oh, and Crash. Thunder and no Crash. That's a hard one. That's a hard one, is it? And two in the other part. Now, like William likes web adventure. Uh, William moves his arms so fast Peter on web adventure. Oh, I love Peter. But you can't see his arms are really blue on web like adventure. Um, Aladdin. Carpet. Hyperspace. I really like Cool. That. Hyperspace. I think we're going and pretty Dumbo soon. And, and Dumbo. And Autopia. Autopia was so fun. It was. It was. It was, that was a good fun. <laughs> like a family fun kind of ride. Incidentally, I um, meant to uh, share something and I think I forgot to. We we're gonna do a Paris D and then decided that actually it was gonna cost quite a lot to get there and get back and the children weren't fussed on giving for the whole Disney day. So then we thought we'd just go on the way to the airport. But then it was gonna be an extra, something like 160 euros to go there two hours early, literally look at the Eiffel Tower and then come way back to the airport. So a couple of things, that's, that's a big expense. Second, we would have had to get up even earlier and we're exhausted. But the main one is, why did we want to, to take John to see the Eiffel Tower? And I think we'd, we'd come to the conclusion we were doing it because we didn't want the children, we wanted the children to be able to say they'd seen it. But then they weren't that fast on doing it. It was gonna cost a lot of extra money and they were gonna get extra tired. So we realized that we were just doing that for other people, if that makes sense. We were doing it so they could say to, oh, have you seen the Eiffel Tower? Yes. So it wasn't for the children, it was for other people, and that seemed silly. So it didn't suit this trip. Okay, we haven't been into Central Palette Paris yet, but it is like an hour from Disneyland Paris, Central Paris. It's not 
super close and you just weren't that fast on going were you so we just thought why are we doing this when really the only reason to do it is so they could say we've been so that's why we didn't bother on this occasion we'll probably do it at some point in the future but for now for this trip just, just didn't fit. but these days i just feel long gone and i don't know how to make it right so we've made it through customs um once we managed to get sort of checked in to special assistance which was initially a little bit challenging um, the guy who brought us through was really really helpful and it was very very smooth much more so than, the, than previously um, because this one guy stayed with us right through security passport control everything he was really lovely whereas normally um, you can use a special assistance lane to kind of speed up the, the um, bag checks and stuff but sometimes that can still be a bit intense with all the children and all the bags. Um, but this guy just stayed with us the whole time, it was lovely, and then he took us through like a shortcut. So we're now waiting at the gate, but the flight has been delayed slightly, but it's okay. We've made it through security. We're chilling, aren't we? We're chilling. And now someone's playing piano. Is that someone playing piano live? Or is that playing it over the channel? It's very good. Sounds like an actual piano in the airport. Yeah, um, I think it's like that. Oh wow, someone is actually playing piano. So the plane's delayed and they've moved our gate, so we are sitting in a different place now, in a much more crowded place actually. So, I wanted to talk about the Paris versus Florida comparison. So throughout this series, we have talked about which is better, and we've gone ride by ride. You know, there are, there are a few rides I really feel I'm missing from Paris, namely Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, William would like all the Star Wars stuff, Winnie the Pooh, Little Mermaid, the, the people movie, you know. The, so there are some really key Florida rides that are missing from Paris, but then some of the rides that have kind of been replicated in Paris have leveled up a little bit. So Thunder Mountain is a bit more wooshy, Peter Pan a bit more wooshy. I, I don't know if that makes it better. The Thunder Mountain one probably does, but I'm not sure about Peter Pan, they're much for muchness. The Buzz Lightyear, they've change the guns. So there are improvements. The biggest difference I'd probably say is that there's less pushing and shoving in Florida. I found all of the guests were very like, oh, can, can the kids see? Do they want to, you know, they were, everyone seemed really considerate. Whereas what we found in Paris, it's a little bit more elbows out, a little bit more pushing and shoving, a bit more every man for himself, a bit less community of the feel. Definitely the bus queues and things are, there's no fault, well, it's not a queue, it's just like a mad rush of people pushing and shoving and jumping in front of people that have been sat in their bridges. So that's the biggest difference, obviously the weather. But then it is an absolute fraction of the price to get there and it's still super magical. The truth is, it depends what you're after, it depends what your budget is. Please, this is the final That's not us. So it really depends what you're after, it depends what your budget is. It's going to cost less to physically get to Paris. You've got lots more options to get there. Whereas with Florida, obviously it's flights and the flights are going to be more expensive because they're that much further, they're that much nicer. The flights, the planes themselves are much nicer, but you pay that much more money for it. Which is better, Florida or Paris? It really depends what you're after for your family. I hope throughout this series I've managed to give a bit of a balance of, you know, because in some ways Florida does things better, in some ways Paris does things better. It really does depend what's going to suit your family best. I guess I've been searching for places, some familiar faces. I think I just need a little light. I've been trying to fake it. I have said I can take it, but I think you should let me go. Cause I need some time. Cause it has been too long since I got any sleep. Yeah, it's been a while. I think I just want to feel like home But these days I just feel long gone And I don't know how to make it right I've been trying to fake it I have said I can take it But I think you should let me go 
Cause I need some time Time Cause it has been too long since I got any sleep Yeah, it's been a while And just like that, we're back from another absolutely amazingly magical trip. I'm so tired, I can't form words. So, um, I normally start unpacking immediately as soon as we get home, get on top of the washing and things. But you know what? Other than, I'd say I won't touch the cases, but the girls have got dolls in the cases. So I could have to find their dolls, but other than that, I'm just going to have to leave it for tomorrow because I can't even. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining along our wonderful trip. You can catch the whole video just as soon as that's live up here and the unpack with me, which hopefully I'll get done in a timely fashion just down here as soon as that's live. Thanks so much for watching, guys.